going guys well we got pulled over here as you can see there's like a gazillion trucks trucks everywhere and this one guy picks at me uh, Laredo Laredo police and um, he says oh you ignored the uh, detour sign I'm like well as I was looking down the road, I saw like nothing but trucks down there. I figured it was a dead zone sign. You know, one of those signs that doesn't have a, he's leaving right now. But you can see his trucks everywhere. And um, he didn't give me a ticket, he just gave me a warning. But it's just, you know, you know, I hate giving out my license and ID and all that for no reason. You know, it goes into a database. You know, it pops up everywhere. You, now you're in a list. I just hate being stopped anyway for no reason you know it was a sign that says detour but you know like there's trucks everywhere so I just thought it was a dead zone sign and here I am explaining to him you know he's a pretty cool guy he wasn't being a, a, a dick or anything but it's just that you know I, I hate for no reason I understand if uh, you know if it was an obvious thing but you know, these detours are like so small with no, you know, they're like out of the way. And then that's that's what these small towns do, you know. If you don't stand your ground and explain to them the situation, or how, you know, what you believe in, and they see you stupid or dumb or slow, they'll, they'll, they'll rake up that money for these townships. They'll do that. You know, I, I, I don't care, you know, like, I'll, I'll go to court and I'll, um, you know, to the tribunals using the um, lawyer service if I have to. But as you can see, it's trucks everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but it's a it's a large majority of trucks. And the thing is, you know, these these guys go after us. You know, they, they go after the big the big fleets, and, and they're just trying to extract money and you know make it look like they're doing a job. Like they could, he could have picked any other situation out. You got guys speeding through the zones. Right now, you know, I'm doing like 25, 30. These guys are doing like 50. And, and you know, and, and, um, you know, they disregard all that and go after a trucker that just went through a, a detour. It doesn't even look like it was detour. You know, and um, I just kept my cool and told him, look, uh, I'm gonna go park at a Walmart. I'm running out of hours. And I saw trucks in here, and I just figured that, uh, you know, it was a uh, local delivery type of situation. You know, I just hate that though, man. You know, a lot of our truckers, they, they can't properly talk, or, you know, they, they get rat, uh, frazzled up, and then they get written up, you know, for tickets. And, um, you know, it, it, it's just, it's, it's just, sometimes we, we put up with this stuff here. You know, we're risking our lives. We, you know, we, we, we gotta deal with traffic. <clears throat> you know, we gotta deal with different situations. And um, you know, we don't got no time for extra stress. You know, I almost ran out of hours. I only got a few minutes here, and he only ran my license. And but you know, it's just like. stops like checkpoints and and way stations and all that you know the government doesn't you know give us leniency and support you know we still got to stop everywhere and, and um you know and it's time consuming a lot of these stops like the checkpoints you know we gotta you know I, I just came from a checkpoint back there with four motorcycles you know these guys are driving and they don't have the identification they're just, you know, taking up time, like 20 minutes. And, and, you know, the point is that there's no reason for that. Like, these checkpoints, for especially for truckers, you know, it's an inconvenience. It's, it's you know, it's things that hinder our money-making situation. You know, we, we have to move the freight. And, you 
know, even if you're on percentage pay, you know, you have to be aware that, you know, you, you got a delivery to make for an appointment. You don't want to be late for that. The government does have has no understanding on that, you know. And I get it about the safety thing. I understand it's a safety thing, but, you know, the thing is that the safety thing is um, hindering our money-making uh, uh, opportunities or, um, you know, it, it hinders our, our payroll. You know, I think that the system, this per mile system and all that, I mean, it's got to be a better way whereas such as percentage pay or per hour pay, you know, hourly pay and so forth. You know, this little, this little dollar per, per mile and so forth, it's just, it's, it's just inconvenience us, you know, with the government um, rules and all that. It puts, in a, it puts us in a bad position that we can't make the money. You know, and law enforcement, I mean, these guys are border patrol, first of all. Like, really, you know, that, that's, that's what I get upset at. Like, they're border patrol. I don't, I don't even think it's their jurisdiction to to um to be stop doing traffic stops like that without uh, them thinking there was a criminal activity. The first thing he asked me was if it was if it, if anybody was back here. So I know what he's doing. He's fishing. He's doing, he, he might think I'm Mexican or I'm getting paid to bring people in or whatever human trafficking, and I get that. But the point is, you know. These Border Patrol, you know, if they suspect things, there should be proper agencies to handle that. You know, you, you shouldn't be stopping Americans and preventing them with, you know, from free movement with no probable cause like a criminal activity or, or, you know, being suspicious is not a criminal activity in the United States. You cannot be suspicious. Suspicion, you know, is not a criminal activity. You know, they got to stop playing detectives. That's why they have agents. The agents, border patrol agents, not not patrol guys. You know, they're supposed to be watching out for obviously illegal activities such as plain sight activities, so they can articulate a crime. You know, you just can't stop public because oh well, you didn't make a detour. Yeah, you're border patrol. You're not supposed to be. You know, let the um, traffic patrol um, figure that out. You know, and that's what I get mad at. You know, we get we, we get. Um, situation that you know um, they disregard our rights at any at any time and it is what it is I guess but right now I'm hoping I can make this Walmart I don't even think I can all right guys um I gotta make a turn here um like always you know you guys um stay safe out there and even though I didn't get a ticket or anything, I, it's just a, you know, I feel like my vice are violated. Every time I come to these, this section of the, of the country, it's just like there's no, you know, there's no, like, driver support. You know, it's like, I feel like I'm driving in Mexico. I hate that. But, you know, like I said, like always, you know, um, I don't want to keep dragging this out, but like always, you know, be be safe and have fun, okay guys? I'll talk to y'all later.